हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज हम एलसी सर्किट के ऊपर एक प्रॉब्लम करते हैं आप में से जो लोग जे एडवांस 2023 को सिंसियरली अटेम्प्ट करने वाले हैं उनके लिए एक कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम ये एक सर्किट आपको दिख रहा है जिसमें दो कैपेसिटर हैं दो इंडक्टर कैपेसिटेंस की वैल्यू टू सी और सी है इंडक्टेंस की वैल्यू एल और टू एल है इस अपर कैपेसिटर पे इस कैपेसिटर पे एक चार्ज है क्यू नॉट टाइम जीरो पे सर्किट दिखाया गया है इस समय इस कैपेसिटर पे चार्ज है क्यू नॉट ये कैपेसिटर खाली है ब्लैंक है इसमें कोई चार्ज नहीं है टाइम जीरो पे सर्किट की यही सिचुएशन है जो इस समय आपको बोर्ड पे दिख रही है स्विच खुली हुई है अभी खुली ही रहेगी स्विच अभी खुली रहेगी पहला क्वेश्चन ये पूछा गया है फाइंड मैक्सिमम करेंट through the inductor having inducted cell, ये स्विच ऐसे ही खुला रहेगा टाइम जीरो पर यह सर्किट दिख रहा है थोड़ी देर के बाद सर्किट में सिचुएशन बदलेगी चार्जेस बदलेंगे सब्सिक्वेंटली इस इंडक्टर के थ्रू किसी एक इंस्टेंट पर जब करेंट मैक्सिमम होगा तो उस मैक्सिमम करेंट की वैल्यू बतानी है दूसरा क्वेश्चन है ठीक से सुनिएगा दूसरे क्वेश्चन को जिस समय इस सर्किट में इंडक्टर के थ्रू करेंट मैक्सिमम हुआ जिस समय इस सर्किट में इस इंडक्टर के थ्रू करंट पहली बार मैक्सिमम हुआ उसी समय इस स्विच को बंद कर दिया गया द स्विच इज क्लोज एट द इंस्टेंट द करंट थ्रू द इंडक्टर बिकम्स मैक्सिमम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ठीक एस इज क्लोज व्हेन करंट थ्रू द इंडक्टर करेंट थ्रू द इंडक्टर इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू आई मैक्स एट दैट इंस्टेंट द स्विच इज क्लोज सो आफ्टर द स्विच इज क्लोज वॉट विल बी मैक्सिमम करेंट थ्रू दिस इंडक्टर नॉ द क्वेश्चन इज बींग आस्ट आफ्टर द स्विच हैज बीन क्लोज एट दिस मोमेंट सब्सिक्वेंटली वॉट विल बी मैक्सिमम करेंट थ्रू दिस पर्टिकुलर इंडक्टर आई डैश मैक्स इज द मैक्सिमम करेंट थ्रू दिस इंडक्टर after the switch has been closed and remember the switch was closed when the current through this inductor became maximum for the first time i hope you have understood the question now you can pause the video give it a try and then you can refer to my solution okay here i will uh, try to solve the problem for you i may not do all the calculations right i'll just tell you the basic thing that you need to do for solving this question when the switch is open when the switch is open and this capacitor starts to discharge if i talk in terms of positive charge positive charge will start flowing like this so this capacitor plate will start gaining some positive charge and similarly negative charge will flow to this capacitor plate so this one will become positive this one will become negative in a sense this capacitor will get discharged and this one will get charged right at some instant the current here will be maximum current has only one value whether i say current through this inductor or this inductor it has got same meaning right now right so the current flowing through this circuit uh will be changing with time but when when current is maximum in this circuit it simply means there is no potential difference across the inductor there is no induced emf in the inductor because when current is maximum you all understand that di by dt is zero basically current as well as charge on the capacitor oscillates sinusoidally in such lc circuits so when the current becomes maximum uh if the current is varying with time like this when it is maximum di by dt is certainly zero at that instant at that instant the uh inductor will have no emf induced in it because emf induced in the inductor is given by l di by dt so when di by dt is zero there is no emf induced in the inductor so at the instant when the current is maximum at the instant 
current is maximum, what are we going to see? We are going to see that there is no source of EMF in this circuit and these are two capacitors that is all. Please try to understand that these two capacitors will be actually in parallel, is not it? Because this positive plate is connected to this positive plate and these two negative plates are connected together, is not it? So, if I draw a circuit like this showing only the capacitors, the circuit is like this, it is like this, at the instant about which I am talking, there is no induced EMF in the inductor and this capacitor let us say, let us say has got x amount of charge on it and at this instant this capacitor rather say that this one is having charge x and this one is having charge q naught minus x. Am I making sense? So, these are two capacitors in parallel, their negative plates are connected together here and their positive plates are connected together here. So, these two capacitors will have division of charge between them such that potential difference between both of them remains same. Potential difference between this and this plate will be same as potential difference between this and this plate. These all are same points in the circuit, they have got same potential. So, using this we can easily calculate the value of x, is not it? If x is charge on this capacitor x upon c, capacitance is c, it will be same as q naught minus x y to c. Therefore, 3 x is equal to q naught which means x is equal to q naught by 3. So, we know the value of charge on this capacitor as well as value of charge on this capacitor. So, the instant about which we are talking right now at that particular instant, please try to understand at this very instant there is no d i by d t, there is no d i by d t, there is no e m f in the inductor, but it does not mean that there is no current, right. It never means that there is no current, there is current in the circuit, but at this instant there is no e m f d i by d t is 0. In fact, when d i by d t is 0, current is maximum. For sake of simplicity of writing, let me write the maximum current as I naught. You have just calculated that the charge here will be 2 q naught by 3 q naught minus x and the, here it will be q naught by 3. So, at this instant charge is 2 q naught by 3 and q naught by 3, right. So, at this instant what is the value of current that is what has been asked and this can be answered using energy conservation. Because there is no resistance in this particular circuit, so there is no dissipation of any energy. So, whatever initial amount of energy was there in this capacitor, it will remain conserved in the circuit at any instant of time. So, the initially, initially the capacitor was having an energy which was equal to half q naught square by 2 c only one capacitor was charged and this will be same as the amount of energy that you see right now. Now, some part of the energy is there with the capacitor in the electric field between the plates and some part of the energy is there with the inductor in form of magnetic field energy inside the coil. So, let us write the total energy right now. It is half L i naught square in this inductor and this is half 2 L i naught square in this inductor. This is magnetic field energy and these two capacitors are also having uh, some energy right now. So, add those two energies you will get half this is 2 q naught by 3, 2 q naught by 3 is the charge divided by 2 c q square by 2 c and this one is having energy that is half q naught square by 3 whole square divided by C. So, just by simplifying this expression you can get the value of I naught. Are you getting my point? When the current is maximum there is no EMF. Using this fact we were able to calculate the charge on these two capacitors because at this instant potential difference here and potential difference here will be same. The two capacitors in a sense are in parallel. So, using that I was able to calculate how much charge is there on this capacitor and how much charge is there on this capacitor when there is no EMF in this circuit right now. 
so if i know the value of charges on the capacitor i know the amount of energy stored here so initially total energy given to the capacitor system is this much and at this instant the energy in in both the capacitors is this much only this this plus this is certainly less than this you can calculate that so where has that energy gone it has gone into magnetic field energy it is stored inside the inductor so energy in these two inductors will be actually equal to this minus this and this will give you the value of maximum current before the switch is closed so you do the calculation yourself now when the switch is closed the question says switch is closed at the instant when the current here is maximum i not jo current abhi abhi tumne calculate kiya jab current ki value i not pahunchi usi samay kisi ne switch band kar diya so students please try to understand this situation now if the current in this circuit is i not and you are shorting this switch what is going to happen now this inductance 2l and this capacitance c uh, they are connected to one another directly that means they are in parallel and this one and this one they are in parallel they are connected to one another directly now a separate lc oscillation will take place here and a separate lc oscillation will take place here now what is happening here has got no relation to what is happening here actually can you understand that now these are two independent circuits in a way right these are two independent circuits in a way this capacitor which is having a charge of 2q0 by c right now was it 2q0 by c ah uh, 2q0 by 3 so sorry when this capacitor is having a charge of 2q0 by 3 at this particular instant this has got connected to an inductor directly connected to an inductor and at this very moment the current is i not value of i not is known to you you have calculated it similarly here this capacitor right now is having a charge of q not by 3 and the current here is i not the same current now here an as lc oscillation will take place here also an lc oscillation will take place so the question asks what will be value of maximum current through this inductor now again you have to use energy conservation now this particular loop which is independent of this loop how much energy is it having the total energy that it is having is half l i not square plus this energy which is half q square this q square by 2c this is the total energy that this loop is having having and when and when the current here becomes maximum when the current here becomes maximum you all know that the entire energy gets transferred to the inductor magnetic field energy so this will become half l i max square this i max dash jo maine initially kaha tha after the switch has been closed what will be maximum current uh, through this inductor so th when the entire energy gets uh, in form of magnetic field energy at that instant the current will be maximum so here the maximum value of current will be obtained by simplifying this we know the i not we can calculate i max similarly here also you can calculate if required you can calculate what is the maximum current through it right in this particular branch the current will not be i not it will not be this uh, it will not be equal to actually if i call this current as i1 and call this current as i2 then you can see that in this path actually current will be uh, sum of i1 and i2 taking care of plus minus sign of course uh, whether the direction is this way or this way but this path uh, you can just think of it like this yaar that there are two connections here Uh, current i1 is going like this and current i2 is going like this these two are independent it's fine thinking like this so students i hope that you have understood this concept in past in j advance or iit j many a times questions have been asked on lc circuit and most of those questions could have been answered using the principle of energy conservation 
the thing the same thing that we have used to solve this problem thank you and goodbye